think he's super pale because he spent all his time doing Shawshank tunnels. Probably. Well, not digging them, but in exploring them. Yeah, it's, I mean, everyone else is so much more tanned than him. Oh, that's why he knows so much. What a flashback that was. <laughs> He's like, My memory's going. I guess that would have been a commercial break or something. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Stoneface Reactions. I'm Theta, this is Lessons, and we are back with episode 12 of Legend of the Galactic Heroes Gaiden, season 2. I mean, thoughts? Thoughts on what happened last time? That um, Thoughts on what happened last time? I did like the, uh, the investigation, how it went. It was short, relatively speaking, to the point. It showed that the investigator was competent, just like... Yeah, I'm, I'm just doing, essentially he was doing those interviews, verifying information that he already had to build up his case. It's like, oh, because <laughs> the commander, also, he's a dumbass. It's like, well, you know, you haven't found anything, essentially. It's like, dude, I checked the bank accounts. I did my investigation. Oh, by the way, I don't see that I didn't mention. I also have access to your computers here, which if you try to erase something, I would have found out as well. So... Yeah, you didn't cover your tracks as well as you thought you did, <laughs> idiot. You know. Well, I mean, they also that, I, obviously I, didn't allow him to do anything after he got caught because he was yeah. kept guard by the prisoners. Which is an interesting choice, right? Uh, interesting choice because they you know they could trust the other soldiers, not to side with him and then have this big fight. But since the, it was in the best interest of the prisoners for the truth to come out, so they don't get harshly punished, then. And and the moment that and the moment that he came in, this reason was like, oh, here you go, rifles, let's go, right? So they kept the word, yeah. Which I, I like the fact that the at least these members of the empire, uh, they value their honor very much, right? Uh, you know, we're honorable, we keep our word, we do this and that. I said, no, talk about the larger empire, though, especially with you know reeducation camps. But you well, know. we know a bunch of these wanted to go. I gotta go home, yeah. Yeah, sorry, I don't remember. I... Well, some, a lot of times I'll be saying something and I'll let the button go and I'm like, oh, did I finish what I was saying? <laughs> so yeah, my yeah. boost to talk here. Uh, yeah, a lot of these people want to go home as per that one um, aristocrat that was beating the crap out of the other guy. You know, he just wanted to go home. So you do what you gotta do. That can make a better impression. That better impression might get you home sooner. Yeah. Also, I, I get the feeling that part of this is kind of recreation of the 730 Mafia and the Yang might not be doing this consciously, but I'm getting the feeling that these are the recruits, the people that Yang, in essence, will, when he gets, I know he gets so much higher rank later on, I know that much about League of Galactic, Galactic Heroes, who's like, oh, I remember this guy who helped me in this situation. I remember this guy who was my steward. I remember, you know, this guy who was helpful here. Okay, bring them on board. You're going to be my team now, right? As a, as a, you know, superior officer. So it's like, I get that's what's happening. And part of it is we're getting introduced to all these characters or many of these characters, especially in the military. These are going to be recurring characters because Yang is going to go, hmm, I need someone who can be a, like a bodyguard or something. Okay, that big guy who beat up everybody. I need somebody to, you know, run my security. Okay, that guy was very good at that, right? I feel that's what's going to happen in the future. But that's just a guess. I mean, two thoughts here. One, you said League of Galactic Heroes, which I think must be a mobile game somewhere. <laughs> uh, two. Legend. Legend of Galactic Heroes. Yeah. Well, two. Well, actually, it's Legend of the Galactic Heroes. I know because I've tried searching up the titles of episodes for when I put them yeah. upline. You played Legends of the Galactic Heroes. Nothing comes. Um, uh, two, you said it might be something subtle. Uh, Yang has literally had monologues to himself about the people he wants to bring in and the reflections of the 730 Mafia and how he wants to be. So, all those times you've had the list of the computer talk about all this shit, at the end of those episodes, Yang is thinking to himself openly, to us anyway, about that. So I don't think except it's the, very subtle at all. Well, except for the fact that Yang doesn't seem to be interested in becoming an admiral himself. 
Right? He's like, yeah, I'm doing my job. Just I'm sitting here. You know, he looks up to the 730 Mafia, certainly, uh, but does not, he doesn't seem to show that interest himself, that ambition, other than, you know what? I'm serving the military. I'm going to do my best. And that's going to be it. Right? If it so happens, I turn out to be a hero of Iconia or a hero of El Fasil or some Fasil. Uh, that's just something that happens. He's just doing his job, right? Well, as he said last episode, he's got the curse of not being bored. I mean, there is an element of the fact that, as you said, we both kind of know he's going to rise in the ranks. So this could just be one of those backwards uh, stories. You know, the first one is in 1988. This is 1998, 1998 to 1999. Currently, we're in the 1999 part. That's why that flummoxed me for a second, saying it out loud. Um, that we're writing stuff to fit backwards compatibility. And it's not like uh, the origin being written 40-something, 50-something years after the original, where we kind of like, uh, we didn't know what technology was going to be like back then. This is only 10 years difference. I'll be at 10 years that we're big for technology. 1988 to 1998. That's what cell phones go from being bricks to foldable. No, technically, I guess they're still just smaller, more survivable bricks. They go from yeah, I, I, as big I, I, as I your a, head I, I to a little Nokia I, brick. I had a brick of a telephone in 1999, so yeah. yeah. The cheaper ones were still very big. Yeah, I, I, well, I just mean like your car phone, your giant ass car phone yeah, with the yeah, pull out yeah. antenna to yeah. the little brick that will survive the apocalypse. Yeah, the Nokia would come out in 2001, 2002. I had one of those. I lost one of those. It literally disappeared in a bar when I dropped it. And I don't think that thing even hit the bottom. Somebody just grabbed it and that was it. Yeah. I mean, I had one. I don't remember getting rid of it. I just don't remember it existing anymore at some point in my life. Yeah. So, assumably something happened to it. All I ever really did was play Snake on it while I was walking to work. So, I mean, but yeah, no. Or I guess the the transition from this might just be me. I don't know. I must be stupidly not More noticing like stuff, but it might be the transition from cars having antennas on them to cars mm -hmm. having antennas built into them. That's just I a transition that, little, that like, I did a lot a of parking later. lot work in my day, and just noticing that, it's like, cars used to have antennas coming out of them, didn't they? I think it's more floppy to, uh, to uh, not CD-ROM, but, like, DVD. DVDs? No, DVDs came out on the I mean, 1998, we, I think yeah. it could have had many DVDs by then. Yeah. When did the DVD... Now I want to know when the DVD came out. Uh... DVD. I mean, Blu-rays might have been a thing in 1998. Look, we clearly are not great at telling uh, when... 1997 was the day, uh, was the year. August 22nd, 1997 was the actual national nas nationwide rollout of the format happened on August 22nd, 1997 uh, for the DVD. Look, so, yeah. I'm just saying we're not good yeah. at telling when uh, tech was available. You're still claiming that the Commodore 64 was able to play AMVs. So, look, man, we both claim and own a Commodore 64. I don't know what time travel device you used, but mine could barely pull what an Atari could pull, and I, you were not playing any AMVs on an Atari. Uh, oh, a Commodore beat the Atari. Hands down. All the Maybe time. in the way that a PC beats any modern uh, gaming console today. Look, I don't remember these things anymore. All, all I remember still is DOS. I can still do everything in DOS, but I do not. Re you know, actually, I might not have had to do any of that. Yeah, no, because I would load everything off of the uh, the floppy. Like the fucking That's massive. No, I would load everything off the massive floppy, but I would type in DOS commands. DOS commands worked for me. I think maybe I booted up with a DOS uh, disk. Actually, my in, uh, I, my Commodore had, my Commodore had the the smaller floppy and the fucking actual floppy floppy uh -huh. uh, drive, so I could boot off of a DOS disk and then uh, run everything on through DOS commands. 
you could load DOS on the Commodore 64. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, it wasn't MS DOS. Oh, it was just DOS. It had its own DOS. That's a that's a command to load the disk. Yeah, no, I know what you're typing, but I mean, I was like literally typing like C uh, parentheses, parentheses, yeah, parentheses, that slash whatever. I was actually typing in file uh, listings. It could be through Geos. Uh, I look. Geos. I obviously this was far enough back that this was like my first computer, so I don't actually know anything versus that. Also, I destroyed that damn thing. Like, not intentionally, I was a destructive kid when it came to technology, trying to figure out how it worked, so I would take, like, oh. open things up and put, like, screwdrivers in. Like, I think I destroyed my stereo by literally connecting the two uh, power connectors together with a, <laughs> uh, with a flathead screwdriver. Oof. So, well, it didn't hurt me. I've been electrocuted many times. But connecting two things together like that, burst the connector before, like, the, the I don't know what you call it, the you know, it's wrapped in a wire and it's uh, like a square shaped. Whatever that little connected device is between the two connectors, it burst that thing before anything ever got to me. I mean, all of that would have done was I would have stood there for a minute and then, ah! Nothing has ever... I've never been in the position of all of my safety training where they say to, like, grab a wooden thing and pry push somebody off of being electrocuted. I've never had that many vaults put to me, I guess. Hey. I've said many times here, all the times I've been electrocuted where I've jumped Rubber me off shoes. of my feet. Rubber shoes are always useful. Yeah, but they're not very stylish. I mean, I've been electrocuted too many times out in the wild. <laughs> Walking past a uh, telephone pole and it's got like a, a, a box on it, and the box is just hanging open. You go, oh, I'll close that. You know, like that. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have touched that at all. Well, I mean, it didn't occur to me. I, I mean, I was a kid back then, but I mean, even now, it really wouldn't occur to me that because all the electrical shit on the telephone pole is up. So <laughs> well, I don't know what this box even does. I don't know what that box even did. So all I know is it must have been a loose wire connecting. Or hanging loose, because it must have been when I pushed it close, the loose wire touched the the lid. The box, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. That could have ended my story there, I guess. Uh, anyway. Uh, this episode. Um, wedding. Yeah. Wedding. Surprise wedding. We Piotr comes wedding. back with us. So does Kristoff. Yeah. yeah. I'm not surprised by Piotr, uh, Piotr, but I am surprised by Kristoff. I guess he has nothing better to do. It's like, oh. I'm free. Uh, I get I'm a the pension reverse. now. I'm the reverse. I am surprised by Piotr. I would assume he had an assignment there. Why is he Why is he coming with us? Kristoff is a free man. He can come with us. It doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. Piotr is just like, oh shit, I was supposed to be on duty. Nine days ago in another planet. I don't know. Maybe he got a, a leave to be here. I don't know. I mean, probably. I mean, he uh, did. You, you help. You him help to save the day. It's like, oh, you can take a couple. He did get an official right reprimand off the record, whatever the fuck that means. Yeah. Like, what did you reprimand him for? I'm seeing there's a reprimand for Piotr officially. It's on the record. Get rid of that. It's not on the record. <laughs> what what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> did you write this up not to file it? <laughs> it's a record on a record. It's like. That's what I'm saying. You're it's officially flow. reprimanded it, off the record. So does that count towards what? <laughs> this is like your, your last warning off the record. Do, do I get one more warning then, or what is? It's stupid. I don't. Yeah. I don't get it. There's a sentence that doesn't make sense. Must be translation, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Any other thoughts before we get into this? Because there's not a lot of information well, to work off of here. I mean, the wording, I think, is wrong. But I think the intent was, we are acknowledging that you screwed up by lying to us. But we're not going to make such a big deal of it that it will ruin your chances for promotion. Well, it's off the record. Exactly. Which means that we're not filing the... this. So you're not yeah. going to get in trouble for the element that you lied on this thing because we recognize the intent of the lie. 
So this is an official reprimand off the record, which at best to me means this is me warning you. But Don't do it again. thank God we exist in a multi-planet bureaucracy where in which unless you come to the specific uh, solar system again, probably not going to see you. This is a useless thing that I'm telling you right now. Don't do it again. Basically. So basically it's official, but off the record. It's, it's pointless. It's pointless. It's, 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 it's a wording, I think. It's, that, it's like that. living in a city with a million cops and getting warned by one when you're traveling outside of your own living space. It's like, okay. I mean, I have one in a million, literally a one in a million chance of running into you again, so I think I'll be fine. All right, well, with all that said, I think we should go ahead and get on into it. But before we get started, make sure that you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, comment down below to feed that algorithm. On top of all that, if you want to watch more shows like this, unfiltered, uncensored, and uncut, as well as some early access stuff, you can check it out over on the Patreon. It's just $5 a month, but hey, no pressure. There's zero pressure in order to do that. It's just a little bit of extra support, and it would be greatly appreciated. But yeah, no, Alex hasn't shown any, like, romantic things with anybody. Which... It, you remember, it's Jasper just... that has Jessica. Yeah, but remember our last scene with Jessica? that She went to the airport to, like, oh, yeah... Alex and, uh... Je Alex and Jessica are not connected whatsoever. There's no connective thread between those two people. Alex, Jessica, and even Jasper have not been in the same room together ever. Jasper is his friend from school. Alex only ever showed up after El Fasil. He's just the commanding officer. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm just, I just want to make that clear, because it very much sounded like you were saying Jessica was having an affair with somebody we've never seen her in the room with. It doesn't make Alex isn't connected to Jasper at all. I know, I know. But I don't know what the writers are going to do here, so. Could be a random person. Well, it would have to be. It has to be somebody we don't know. Because, again, Alex, on the board here that I have him connected, is connected to Yang. God, I have another line coming off of him. It better not go down to Jessica for some reason. <laughs> Who are you connected to, Alex? This line goes down forever. It's like I built a tower out of this relationship thing. Dusty Attenborough, the cadet from school. That's it. Those are the two people he is tied to. My ability to see color going? Why does this other line look a different color? Nope, it's just weirdly a green looks a different color to me next to another green. And that has been your opening credits conversation. <laughs> that Theta may be going colorblind. <laughs> or just the weird effects of colors next to other colors that you couldn't see because they didn't have it on screen. ワクセエコニアのホルシュー女を離任することになった Martin Otto von Ziegmeister. Thank God. Oh, Imperius Space Year. That's never red hair. That's uh, on my theory. Yeah, I don't know if he's married a red hair. Oh, he is a red hair. Oh, he a red hair. Oh, he is 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 a I mean, he was born 30 years before, now that he defected 30 years before. Are you sure that he Also, if records of him are sparse, why is this a random book in this rural planet? I mean, they, they, he doesn't say much about wait, 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 wait. So This guy has the same name as... The same first name as our Kristoff? And got assassinated? Oh, 
weird book. Was that in, Eng in English, too? Well, I assume it might have just been translated, but... Please let this be the majority of the episode. I have to figure this shit out. I don't care how boring it is in an anime. I need the information. これらを結ぶ隠された意図があるとすれば。もしかして、ジークマイスター提督は亡命以後、ハリケーン。まあ、ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ。ダメ
探していきましょう少佐殿私もあの老人私たちを重卒だとでも思い込んでるのじゃありませんか全く人使いが荒いことと言ったら同感だねでも不思議とあまり怒る気がしないなまあ命の恩人には違いないんだしハイネセンに着くまでぐらい重卒がわりとまあ、私はあの、あの、あの、あの、の、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、Oh, recognize him as a Imperial, I guess. Or just a stranger. Beetle, <laughs> これと、缶ビールを一出す。あ、あら、毎度。それ、we pay in packages? What are we doing here? 半分は大意が飲むんだろう。おう。やれやれ、哀れな捕虜から、立派な。The shorthand of animation. We gave them a bunch of packages and they gave us a bunch of packages back. 窮屈になってしまった。ゆっくりと公主刑に処されてるような気分でどうにも落ち着かんハドリアンビールとは聞いたことのない銘柄だな You've heard of Hadrian's Wall? This is Hadrian's, Hadrian's Beer 私は同盟のビールではアルンハイムが好きなんじゃがなアルンハイムすみません Wait, didn't he get here after? Isn't it Sevillian already? Is there like a galactic line the new year passes through? What's going on? Uh, Technically, you're supposed to do that with glasses and then throw them on the ground. Huey Herman. まずいビールでもアルコールが入っていればそれなりに酔えるらしいハイネセンに着いたらアルンハイムビールで改めて乾杯しましょうお望みだよ So even later for the wedding おお、でかいの思わずでかいのお前さんも老人を偶する正しい道が分かってきたらしいなだがな、私だって昔から老人だったわけではない Thank you, super pale, because he spent all his time doing Shawshank tunnels. Probably. Well, not digging them, but in exploring them. Yeah, I mean, everyone else is so much more tanned than him. Well, I mean, everyone else is so much more tanned than him. Oh, that's why he knows so much. What a flashback that was. <laughs> My memory is going. I guess that would have been a commercial break or something. Oh, sweet Kate, bro. Oh, it's this guy. He's on the board already. I forgot his name. I mean, I forgot that I remembered his name. As far as I can tell, he fucking survives. Guess they're on a moon somewhere? Or it's a very boring picture. はい、かぶんながらクリストフという名が同じというよしみで何かと親切にしていただきましたおおそれは結構それで K はミヒャルゼン提督から何か重要な相談に預かったことはないかは別にそのようなことは
ではミシャルゼンが何やら後ろ暗そうな相談を K に持ちかけたことはなかったか<笑>一体何のことでしょうか I would admit to that, by the way. 召喚には閣下のおっしゃることの意味がつかめませんがなるほど何も知らんというわけだそれならそれでよいよしないことを口にしたが忘れてくれ経済的な大佐私はこの戦いから帰ったら統帥本部の住職に就く予定だ多分自治体の人たちは自治体の人たちはおめでとうございます私はいわば大工として陶水本部に呼ばれたのだ。ああ、トゥプラクサムリークス。いくつも穴が開いているようなのでな。ミハルゼンはその穴のありかをよく知っておるようだ。いろいろ協力してもらうことになるだろう。ケイにとっては不本意なことになるかもしれんな。インコンビニエントはあ。Two people under you serving the same purpose, both named Kristoff. Loka or Kinara, what does Nurio as your Hurie das data? Causer Taisho no Kotovania, also she, Imina Himera de Tilgoto, Satura Zaro, Nakata Modena. Causer Taisho, Tojima da Mizrashkata, Hemi, Shushin no Taisho dena. Tsunen is in Jonia te, Bukun Yote, that's sharp. Always in his mind. He was a sharp. Oh, Somebody else like got a mark off. But to my previous、uh, board, I have him still alive because it seems like he escaped with everybody else. Kozer Taisho was so kikos to KK Yutakana Sendits in your te, Tanjikan Nagara taking a moko or Hanenoka. Dana Domegun no Kogeki was issued on the Hanish Saunashi. 18時27分に開始された左右からの攻撃にはついに抵抗することができなくなったそれはフレデリック・ジャスパー中将とウォリス・ウォリック中将の高知な連携による攻勢だったどちらか一方の攻撃であれば百戦錬磨のコーゼル大将は、Sorry, I've had a wrong the entire time. I forgot that that's Cordzell. I was thinking of Zaiten, who was the,、uh, the fleet admiral in charge of everything. 人権に生じた亀裂は瞬間的に拡大し、そこへさらに同盟軍の砲火が割り込んで、破壊を進めた。I got thrown because I can walk down the hall when they were introducing Cordell. 18時16分、コーゼル大将の機関ディアリウムに同時に三本の砲火が着弾した。And that's when I died. コーゼル大将、司令官閣下。Wait a second. We know this story. Wait, what? Wait. Well, it's a lot of admirals. Yeah. But then again, these well, are big fleets. They said that in the other recap, too. Yeah, but I mean, it's a lot of admirals. Yeah, but I mean, it's a lot of admirals. Yeah, but I mean, it's a lot of admirals. Yeah, but I mean, it's a lot of admirals. Yeah, but I mean, it's a lot of admirals. Yeah, but I mean, it's a lot of admirals. Yeah, but I mean, 重傷を負ったシュテッケル少将が降伏するように指示され、私はその指示に従った。それが私にとって。I mean, right up to the last part, it's basically the same story of Heath, who was on board the Ashby's bridge. He witnessed all the shit, same shit for Ashby, except for the other half. まあ、そう悪い生活でもなかった。これほど長くなるとは思わなかったが、過ぎてしまえば一瞬の夢と変わるところはない。帝国と同盟と優劣を比較するのは難しいが
ビールの味だけは間違いなく帝国の方が上だった。あるいは、錯覚かもしれんがね。Beer, 降伏して捕虜となった我々は、同盟の輸送艦に移され、そのままタナトス政権に連れて行かれた。そこで召喚だけが別の場所へ移され、大佐以下の者はエコニアの捕虜収容所に送られた。そうそう、何年を過ごすことになるのだろう。皆が不安だった。そして私を除く皆が故郷へ帰りたがっていた。故郷を思いながら死んでいった多くの戦友たちに、私は同情は覚えたが、戸惑いも禁じ得なかった。なぜそれほど帰りたいのだろう私自身と異なり彼らには帰れば良いことだろう。クリストフ・ジョインド・ミルタリーと die あるつもりだろう。だが彼らの故郷は彼らの心に描かれたままの姿を保ち得ているだろうかようやく捕虜の身から解放され、うちに帰ってみれば、妻は他の男と共に姿を消し。敗北だけが残って、いるだろうことだってあるだろう。Yeah, I mean, そのような事態を想定してみないのか。想定してもなお帰りたいのだろうか。私には理解できなかった。正確には理解したくなかったのかもしれない。だが、私自身の心情とは別に、捕虜交換で解放される戦友たちを幾度か送り出した。亡くなった戦友の遺品に、悔やみの手紙を添えて。幾度となくフェザン経由で郵送した。一年以上が経過して、もう低調な謝礼の手紙が届けられたこともある。だが、そんな戦友たちも皆、過去へ去ってしまった。歴代の収容所長の半数は私に好意的で、優先して捕虜交換リストに載せてくれようともした。だが、私はそれを断って、収容所の壁の中で人生を終えるつもりでいた。それが今回の事件だ。私はついの住みかを追い出されてしまった。<笑> very interesting story, but doesn't, except for the very beginning of it, it doesn't really give us any info on it. Yeah, and kind of like the perpetrator of the very beginning is dead. So. But he didn't do much. He just like. Brought you on board and then died in the very first thing you guys did. You sure? If I fall asleep in that position, I'm falling forwards. That's right. That's r 大雑把だがイゼルロン方面の前線に出るか、本郷作戦本部で処理をやるか、hey, どちらかだろうな。そうそう、キャゼルの先輩の行為に甘えてもいられない。不本意だが、シニアルファシルの英雄という虚名と二人三脚で、自分の人生は自分で切り開いていかないと。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。大佐殿、ケーフェンヒラー大佐殿。医者を呼んできます。Wait, but first, have you ever seen a weekend at Bernie's? <笑>クリストフォン・ケーフェンヒラー、71歳。帝国貴族に生まれ、内務省管理、帝国軍士官、捕虜、そして同盟市民権保持者となったルテンの人生を今、終えた。イアン・ウェンリーはアルフレッド・ローザス元帥に続いて短期間のうちに出会って間もない年長の地球を失った。Cool! エピソード recapped his life real quick to point out that it was almost utterly pointless and then and then he died. The only important bit of the episode was literally the front bit where the guy that we already got introduced to in another episode Was being possibly investigated with, or was it cahoots with a newly appointed guy who's going to be the joint chief's 
who then also died. Cool. I'm not like, this is not a bad story. It was a good episode, right? Yeah, I understand but... that my tone of voice leaves much to be desired. It's just, in the grand scheme, and I've got to think, a show with this many episodes is pointing towards the grand scheme. Like, is that the point? Am I, am I supposed to be coming away thinking that people's lives are pointless? I don't know. That's what I'm feeling. Like, the mystery of the grand mystery is more important than any individual. Because that dude had, like, his whole life served to give Gang a clue. <laughs> right? Yeah. After he failed to be, like, a husband. Because he was a, a military father. officer. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. technically he did his job as a military officer, which is to say, we surrender when another guy told him to. Yeah. We got, like, two episodes where we combine them together. We got, like, one episode of his life. And the only important bit to us was he told Gang two guys' names. And we never got to the wedding. Yeah, we missed it. We're not even on the right planet. <laughs> Assuming uh, Admiral Yang. And the start of another. How else do you do another episode after that? And then we're going to yeah. go to the other guy who's going to be like, hey, did you ever hear about this guy named Kristoff? And he's going to start investigating shit. And it's going to be, <laughs> we're never going to know. I'm assuming at some point they're going to pull the rug out from under us and it's going to be like, oh, something more important is happening. Stop investigating. Yeah. All that was very interesting until it wasn't. Next. I mean, bottle episode, right? Mm -hmm. I guess it beer can episode, whatever you want to say. But it's fine, right? It might have been more fine if I actually cared about Kristoff. He was an interesting character, right? Mm -hmm. This episode made him less interesting. <laughs> There's like a mystery, like, who is this guy? What has he gone through, right? And he turns out, oh, he's just a sad old guy who, like, wife almost cucked him, and then he, like... Oh, he, he definitely cucked him. Well, and he's only been living his life as, like, revenge. Just being alive was his whole thing. And then yeah. his actual backstory in, amongst the uh, the military is just... I got in for like three years, and this guy was like nice to me, but this other guy was like either investigating him or trying to get in with him. So mm -hmm. I got brought on board, but then they instantly died and we surrendered. Yeah. And then the last 48 years have been half of the guys were nice to me. <laughs> you know, it's not a good story if Kristoff was more interesting the less we knew about him. I mean, it explains why he wanted to know about all of those people because that was the that was the the last mystery he was left with before he became a prisoner, right? Well, one assumes he must have gotten the assassination information mm -hmm. from somewhere else because, as far as I can tell, Kristoff wasn't assassinated when he went to jail. Yeah. Um, I don't know where Siegmeister comes into his story. Hmm. Seemeister did not come into play in his own backstory. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. Seemeister defected some years before he even joined. So it's just something yeah. he heard. Yeah. And then Gang put that together off of nothing. But the fact that one guy might have been getting information to the other guy. 
So a spy network based on nothing. Like, Yang is working on less information than I've got. Well, the only thing that we as you know is that when we are show the battle of Tiamat, the second battle of Tiamat, I'll say Tiamat 2, but Electric Boogaloo, uh, there's a discussion about, hey, where are you getting this information? Why are you so confident about this? And he was like, just trust me, bro. He would literally went, trust me, bro. Right? Some of it comes from this source. Some of it comes from this source. The rest is, trust me, bro. And they're like, eh, we kind of don't really trust you, bro, anymore. We, broski. So we're still going to, you're the, you're the bromander. We're going to follow your orders. But, bro, you got to give us a little more than that. My favorite game is still replacing our lords with daddy. <laughs> I tell you everything you just said, replace bro with daddy. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, except for daddy commander, doesn't make much sense, but um, yeah, yeah no, like I said, it's a good like send off to a character who was more interesting before the send off. It is a weird thing to do with a guy. It's like, hey, this cool guy who's like really in control of the jail was actually super ineffectual for 48 years of his life. Or, I guess not 48 years. Technically, he, like, really helped out uh, the other guys who died under or got sent home. Yeah. Like, sure. That was good to show for him, I guess. But even then, he didn't, he didn't tell us why they made him, like, the leader. Like, they said, like, he's not because he's captain or he's too old. You'll know when you meet him. It's like, cool, he's a cool guy, but... Yeah. As an heir authority, I suppose. I yeah, I guess, but it's not like they didn't show us some, like, you know, uh, you, you've watched Babylon 5. I've asked you this a hundred times now, and I'm never certain of the answer yeah. was. But you remember how, like, Jakar has to get, like, all the Narns on his side? And he has to all the. Well, it's not yeah, even he has to fight. He has, he has these arguments. He gets them with mm -hmm. words. And then he does, gets into a fight, but then another guy comes up and shows a bunch of that. That's what I wanted from this guy. Like, how do you get the the inmates on his side? How does he stay in charge all this time? Certainly, mm -hmm. at some point, some inmate like I have a better idea. I think I can get us home faster than this guy. Nothing. Yeah. Like he showed up, was in charge, and then otherwise bad home life. Wants to kill himself through military service. Guy says a confusing thing. Dies on a bench. Like, what do I do? What do I do with this? How do I enter this into my series of facts to figure out the mystery? Or what, is that the answer? Is the mystery not important? Yeah. Have I been chasing the tail of a dead dog, right? Like, what am I, what am I doing? I... Was the wedding the thing? Oh, that wedding already happened. No, oh, yeah, but he's married now. Was, like, the ro romance going on in the background? Was I supposed to be focusing on Jessica this whole time? We've gotten just as much flashback to Jessica as I feel like I've gotten leads on the mystery. Mm -hmm. Was the anti-war oh. protest the thing I was supposed to be focusing on? Or, uh, oh. Is it Gang's addiction that. to tea? The thing, because I believe there's been more tea than there has mystery solutions. Yeah, true. I mean, well, he was drinking a lot of tea, then he drank some beer and he died. Hmm. You know, that whole beer, thing. Well, you Bad know, the beer. farmer who lives an exceptionally long time, who's eaten yeah. like normal off the land stuff, and then he gets invited to the king's palace as a reward for something, and he eats the extravagant food and he dies because his body can't handle that. This guy's been drinking prison tea for <laughs> 48 years, nasty. and then he Can't drinks really... a beer and dies. That so, sounds so nasty. The alternative like is prison a, tea. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, imagine. You make it in the toilet, I assume. But, I mean, the alternative is Piotr killed him. Piotr Ow. bought the beer. The beer's always been in Piotr's hands. It's the only factor that's different from anything else. See, either that or Why the kid was that? an assassin. With the toy? 
Yeah, no, like a little puncture thing. Like he grab, he picks it up, and like a little puncture needle. They got poison. I think he just died of old age. Oh no, I'm not just saying that he didn't die of old age. I'm just saying, what are the alternatives here? The dude only touched two to three people, and yeah. he only ingested beer. So either Pietor killed him through poisoned beer. The child was actually an agent of the Empire, or the family was, and the child was being used, and he poisoned the old man so he wouldn't tell us anything important. But or, he got to ramble on, so... Or, for some reason, a storyteller decided, let me tell you about how not everyone's life is important. Because that's what <laughs> people who watch anime need to be reminded about. Sometimes you live to the ripe old age of 25, fall in love, realize your wife doesn't love you, she has a child with another man, you want to kill yourself, and you find the best way to do that is through military service. So you get into a fight, realize one of your friends might have been dicking you, so the, the uh, higher-ups try to come down on you, and then while they're keeping an eye on you, get you into a battle that you also, by the way, you wanted to die? Don't die. Spend the next 48 years in prison watching sad people either go home or kill themselves. And then when you decide, hey, I'm settled here. I don't want to leave. Be forced to leave and die in an airport. That's that, life for you. That is protagonist energy, is it not? Is That's what the story we want to tell. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. This show, man. At yeah. some point, I just hope we get to the point. Unless the point is that there is no point. Yeah, no, that's that's what this episode told me. Be sad yeah. and depressed in your life because nothing good will happen to you. Except for Gang, who falls into success by accident. Yeah. But the man that has nothing to do gets to save everybody. Yeah. He saves the guy. He saves the galaxy by just being the only person who's available. Like, oh, you, go do that thing. He doesn't actively want to do anything, no. is the thing. You know, he's given assignments. I'm going to go read books. I'm pretty sure the, he says the guy he puts in command of everything is the mm -hmm. inspector. Who's supposed to be leaving, by the way. No, I think it's it's his sub commander, the super. The he said sub commander Moria. Moria, I believe, was the name of the guy who came. Had to double check that. It's not Man, on my not board, so it's not from the episode uh, eight four uh, and back. Yeah. Either way, and Yang ducks his responsibility to read a bunch of books about history, not even about the mystery, by the way, just about history. Well, he's trying to find out, answer the old man's question, what was the connection between these things? No, he said specifically like, he wanted to delve back into his dreams of being a war historian. He didn't say, I'm trying to f solve the mystery. I don't think he's even referenced that there's a mystery in a long time. Other than when he was, like, finished reading the book and he leans back and like, oh, God, I wish he would have shared that revelation because I don't really... <laughs> His his revelation face said he had figured out a lot, and then he goes talk to them. I think the thread might have been this one thing, which had all the energy of me saying, I think Ashby is the son of Sigmeister. Do you have any evidence? None. Yeah. It's just what these things could have been. Hypothesis after hypothesis. After I have hypothesis. gotten exceptionally lucky in a bunch of reactions that we've done together about being right about a thing happening. So I'm hoping I'm right here, even though I have as much evidence in my theory as Gang has in his. Remember, he got his he got his theory from reading a history book, which I don't know about many history books you read probably didn't have the secret narrative of between two intelligence agencies written into it. Yeah. Probably didn't have anything so obvious. By the way, author of the history book had to have been just another guy, too, by the way. Not like, unless it's like he closed the book and we didn't notice it said authored by Christoph Mikkelsen or something on the front. <laughs> Turns out all the books in his library were written by mysteries that needed to be solved. 
Anyway, final thoughts? Um, no. All right. Well, two weeks from now, we'll know if this thing gets solved by the end of it or not. Uh, otherwise, yep. I have been Theta. This has been Lessons. We've been Stoneface Reactions, and we will catch you next time. Bye bye. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another Stoneface Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy?